Russian scientists create a new standard for measuring time in this installation. They will grow. Cryo crystal to create ultra precise. The nuclear clock. Not to be confused with atomic ones, which are currently the standard in the world, the device at Mephi, according to scientists, will be even more accurate, stable and compact. Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Piotr Borisiuk says that to make a nuclear clock in some sense more difficult than a quantum computer as a conditional pendulum energy transition of an atomic nucleus. If you take the nucleus or 229 irradiated with the help of this laser based on a Krypton cryocrystal and tune this cryocrystal to the energy of the nuclear transition, then in fact you have the opportunity to create a nuclear clock based on this system. Lazarus optimized for nuclear transitions. The nucleus inside the atom is protected from external influences by electrons, which means that the clock will be fantastically accurate. The equipment is almost installed, experiments will begin soon. Tolik will be located here inside the vacuum chamber. There's a special vacuum thing here for that. This allows me to conditionally attach the tudatorium sample, pull it out, secure it with a screw. If I just need to set up the laser radiation, stick it back in there and already irradiate this torus sample of generation that's going on, his Krypton crystal. MEFI has the only laboratory in Russia for creating nuclear clocks. Europeans and Americans also conduct their research using xenon gas instead of krypton. However, the Russian approach is more economical and inventive. Nuclear clocks will not only be able to tell time, but also become the basis for a new system of navigation, quantum sensors, electromagnetic and gravitational fields of the Earth. We're at the frontier of scientific thought, like for example in these studies on the nuclear purity standard based on uh, transitions to isotope thorium-229 there until 2000, which can be worn on the arm still very far away. But this is a very important story because Innovative time standards unlock future possibilities. And applied technologies of PK to new fundamental problems associated with the search for dark matter, with the disclosure of unknown mysteries of space. As for cosmic mysteries, this is for young scientists. It is they who have already assembled the so-called light guide 15 meter tube, inside which will rush with a focused laser beam. This is called the vacuum spatial filter of the main amplifier of the ELF laser complex. You have come to us several times and see the stages of creating this complex. And you started with an empty hall this spring. There was just a set of structural elements here. Now we have fully assembled the space filters. It is needed in order to clear the high power radiation from various noises of operations. And the beam in the focus of the main lens will give such energy and power. What? allows the matter to create temperatures of more than 100 million degrees and pressures as in the center of a star. ELF experimental laser physical installation will allow to study the substance in extreme states, for example for the aerospace industry, where technology must withstand huge loads, and also on ELF it will be possible to conduct experiments to help scientists in Sarov, where they are preparing to ignite plasma pellets from nuclei of bacterium and tritium to start controlled fusion. This is called vacuum hygiene. Before the laser rushes into the pipe, the air is pumped out of it and it will no longer be possible to get inside and the light guide must be perfectly clean. When pumping out the wedding, it is very important that there was not even a thin layer, so the entire pipe is washed with alcohol. Mikhail Dudalin has been doing ELF for three years. Recently, together with his classmates, he marked the entire hall with markers to digitize the space for perfect accurate assembly. He says he is easily given the physics of high energy densities, but experiments are more interesting than theory. These are the caps that cover the magnets, where the special element is placed, and we digitized all this space, and the whole system that allows the laser to work now, especially us, accurate to one ten of a millimeter. Next year we will already have a fully integrated complex, and we should enter the stages of descent. That is, I think, 27 years will be a year of experimentation. While Andrei Kuznetsov's students are preparing for the launch of ELF-VI, 
Superconductor Research Hub. A full class of school children is thoroughly captivated by the wonders of magnetic levitation during their visit to the university. Such educational trips occur quite often. In the summer, we took off the supply train. The height of the entire system has not changed at all. How did he stand on those stands? So he hovered in the air at exactly the same height and now moves along our rails absolutely without any coach. In such a cumulative... Energy, chilled with liquid nitrogen and assisted by superconducting ribbons that repel external magnetic fields, enables a metallic platform to glide over magnetic tracks without resistance, paving the way for futuristic levitating train systems. While costly, the potential outcomes are transformative. I think... Accelerate to... Speeds. An airplane, for example, 600, 700 kilometers per hour. We could put all this in some pipe, pump out the air, create a torch, and we would accelerate it there to speeds. Well, more there up to 1,000 kilometers per hour, for example. Innovative solutions for the mechanisms of the future here are developing a superconducting bearing that never he will erase as if floating in a magnetic field without touching the fixed parts of the mechanism, which will be able to work quickly, if not forever, then for a very, very long time. Cold to the touch, this ring does not shift even a millimeter. If you press on it, you only need to add liquid nitrogen because the superconductor wrapped tube quickly heats up, but in general, quite working technology. In a normal bearing, there are rotating spheres which touch. The bearing is able to work without friction due to the levitation effect. Superconductors are able to capture a magnetic field and not just capture, but also maintain this configuration of the field in which they have cooled and they preserve this field arrangement and resist alterations, forming a system that remains stable against shifts and vibrations. Because there's an absence of friction, there's no wear, allowing such bearings to last significantly longer without requiring repairs or replacements. Dear students, here look at this Kamaki toroidal chamber with magnetic coils, which is the main part of the international project and TR thermonuclear reactor of the future. Also, it would seem that there should be no friction inside the bagel, as the tokamak is called. Scientists will fly a plasma cord that holds magnetic fields, but the temperature is so high that the so-called first tokamak wall needs to be protected from it, says Yaroslav Sadovsky, associate professor of plasma physics. What exactly? That's when you have now abandoned recession or, and now they will do burnization there, cover it with such selection so that the top layer is sprayed precisely with boron. But in our T2 maca in T2 Mifis, we can try something with liquid casting and maybe it will give some... A groundbreaking advancement for the thermonuclear industry at large. Note that Fist answers Stepan Krat, he is an engineer and physicist. Hence the talking inscription on the t-shirt. Scientists are really looking for answers to non-standard questions that arise when working at the university's Tacomac training facility. The solution has to be found by improvising here and now. The, the main thing is that we kind of did this, uh, launched a project of remote laboratory work for university students in the country and around the world. Uh, one online talk show open in which students from the Catholic University of Chile took part. Now we have demonstration work going on for colleagues from Mexico. Researchers at the University of Noevali in Mexico aim to construct an educational tacamac similar to MEFIS, seeking guidance from our experts. They wrote directly that they had been thinking for a long time between making a conditional bow to Sase or befriending us, and at the moment they are choosing nations of which we are very proud. The project has already been approved by the Russian Ministry of Education, and the team from the university will fly to Mexico this year. In the meantime, scientists communicate online for hours. We want to presenting our Takamak pre-ionization system alongside demonstrations of plasma behavior with various modifications. Only Mac has been the central player throughout this entire Vreichans period bit. Yeah, what's the time between one pulse and another in a Tokamak? Ah, certainly the sequence of events. Time is limited by two factors. The first is the rate at which we can charge the capacitor banks and the second is the heating of our central solenoid. The secondary limitation arises from the center inductor's salt-induced overheating. Why did she depart? We saw a video of you and your team working with Vinoid. 
This is the newest solenoid you're working on on Mephisto. You're the target. Now we decided to develop a new one with water cooling. International scientific interaction. Continuous. Despite the political turbulence, the experience of Russian scientists is appreciated all over the world. Well, it is still the leader among all Russian universities in terms of the number of international experiments in which we participate. We have, of course, intensified cooperation in various areas with leading Chinese universities. But separately, we are interested when our partners in Brazil, Mexico, Egypt in particular, are also like this. We discussed projects when they were interested, for example, in some of our methodologies. Developments are associated, for example, with the study of the physics of thermonuclear fusion, implemented into your practices, make network programs, and sometimes it is possible even to purchase our equipment. In the field of thermonuclear research, MF, as a flagship university of Rosatom, cooperates with the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, the Kurchatov Institute, the Federal Nuclear Center in Sarov, not to mention the International Project, etc., in the French Kadarache, which cannot be implemented without our country's physicists, experimenters and theorists, researchers and engineers capable of bringing the future closer. In every innovative project of MIF and young scientists, more and more future. Physics is hot. Plasma. In a tokamak, the use of a superconducting bearing, the use of magnetic levitation, the uniqueness of these developments has yet to be assessed. Like the nuclear clock, which after creation will count the reference time, the time of science.